ഹായ് ഹലോ വെൽക്കം ടു ദ ന്യൂ എപ്പിസോഡ് ഓഫ് അവർ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ പി എം ഫോർ ട്യൂട്ട് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ വേരിയസ് മോഡ്യൂൾസ് വിച്ച് വി ഹാഡ് ഡെവലപ്ഡ് ഫോർ അവർ ക്ലയൻസ് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ലോക്ക് ഇൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓൾറെഡി വി ഹാഡ് ഡിസ്കസ് സം മോഡ്യൂൾസ് ഇൻ അവർ പ്രീവിയസ് വീഡിയോ ഹിയർ വി ക്യാൻ സി സം ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് മോഡ്യൂൾസ് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ലോക്ക് ഇൻ ആൻഡ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ഓൾ വി വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു ഈവൻ ഗോ ടു ദ a department what do you mean by the department department and uh, logins we need to create some users over the we had uh, various type of departments uh, such as uh, admin store sales accounts and etc and for each department consists of a special privileges to access the software and the specified modules we are going to create we had a lot of a user over the you can see you would like to um, create a new user by selecting the accounts department first or the admin department we need to create the username department head the location location is uh, even specially for the store such a uh stores and offices like that and uh, password also we can set the creation date also we can set we need to create the password a uh, powerful password also for to we can even uh, we would like to if we are going to uh, check the password in the database we cannot even see properly what is uh, we are all stored that means uh, that means uh, um the special person who has uh, who is uh, you know the creating the password he can also only knows what is the password is we are going to uh, create another password in the another department that is store uh, the store department has a little a uh, privileges such as uh, for delivery and uh, to check uh, in outlets to check the stocks and such as uh, uh like and we are going to create the password email and uh, etc and then search you can see various departments and uh, for each department a uh, username and password also the and uh, we are going to log in again by using the selected you know select the first the department and uh, a username as we are uh, we have already selected the store department password you know what are the privileges we can check what are the privileges for the store department uh, this is already not saved they are forcing to save see they are going to open some modules like uh, production or you know uses and departments stores don't have any permission if you are logging to the store department he don't have such a privileges like uh, making the users it's only belongs to the um, admins only okay now we are going to uh, log in again into the admins am for tutor is the username then we can open uh, all type of modules by using uh, you know the uh, admin uh, department login okay this is the login module you can uh, use the uh, login user id uh, user department and the password also now we are going to create the cost center what do you mean by the cost center cost center means uh, f- for a you know for a company there are a lot of uh, projects are there if there is a lot of projects 
then each project is known as the each for the each project we can create a cost center that means the income and uh, the expenses everything it will go to that such cost center by taking the uh, ledger we can filter by cost center wise we can filter okay for this purpose only we are uh, using we are creating the cost center the cost center id and uh, the cost center name and the cost center in charge is there uh, we can type the cost center in charge who is uh, belongs to the cost center means the in charge of the cost center it it also we can uh, type there and make it insert a new cost center will be added there okay once we are going to even invoice and uh, we can we have to select the cost center and also we are going to uh, you know make a jv uh, anything is there we have to even select the cost center anyway next we are going to create the currency for international purchase for um, you know international transaction we need to configure the currencies especially for uh, purchases purchase master uh, for the international purchase for, uh, for the international purchase we need to configure the same at the beginning that means uh, indian currency uh, what are the currency basic currency is the uh, dhs this currency id currency simple is the currency basic currency that means uh, if you are uh, we have created a basic currency that means uh, if indian currency is the basic currency we need to set what is the basic currency first then uh, we are going to add another currency also there we need to set the basic currency here we are uh, set the indian currency it's a simple is there it's a conversion is also there now basic currency indian currency if you are going to if uh, indian currency is the basic currency this conversion is one if you are going to set to dirhams the currency will be you know 1 by 20 the, the conversion and uh, if you are going to select the uh, dollar 1 by 80 will be the uh, conversion also we need to set this currency and uh, now we are going to you know we have already uh, created the currency now we are going to enter enter some enquiries what do you mean by the enquiry enquiry means if you are going to give some uh, user uh, access you know we are providing some access to the our uh, customers into our software um, they will enquire by our by using our software else if they will enquire the customers will enquire by the um, email uh, then by selecting the email we can also our uh, desktop uh, users that means the receptionist uh, such as they can enter the enquiry into our system directly they can enter for some customer we are going to give some username for the uh, customers they can access the enquiry only they can access, access the enquiry uh, then uh, a lot of uh, details are there item number is the item id is there we will select the id the description also coming description means uh, the name and such name and additional details are the description we are ha we had already select the id then uh, how many um, stocks are there it will automatically say uh, how many stocks are there we'll say and uh, unit name is also there na? unit name numbers how many numbers are there it will automatically saying stock how many stocks are there then we need to 
enter the unit price it is automatically coming unit price and an availability is there it will also we can type and we are going to select and then add by clicking the add button it will come to the grid then second product we are going to select also selecting the unit name the quantity how many quantity uh, maybe pair maybe dozen maybe no something uh, what we are going to select the pair we have selected then the unit name is also coming according to the pair not by the nose next when uh, we can select the salesman name salesman id everything we can select or enter inquiry how uh, the delivery details um, inquiry mode and everything is there now customer id is also there now i go on to and also the basic currency uh, the text also you know this in the words also it is coming and uh, going to save this one that means automatically the number and everything is generated and it will save in our system in the database next one we are going to check whether it is already saved or not that means inquiry report we are going to select the inquiry report we can select from which date to which date we need to select and uh, the customer also we can select the sales name also we can select means uh, under which sales man the inquiry came we can also select next one uh, a quotation quotation means uh we have a, once we got any inquiry then we can select the inquiry it's already and that means we got in an inquiry we will uh, enter this inquiry in our system if anything inquiry is sent in the system if you are going to make a quotation the inquiry number automatically there coming we need to select the inquiry and find it will automatically generate uh, what are what are uh, we have entered it is come to the grid and if you would like to even edit something in the inquiry the price anything is varies and we need to edit the edit button is also there now we need to edit that means it will go to the up and we can select we can uh, select you know edit button is there automatically the rest everything is coming three days delivery uh, terms and everything is coming if we need to edit the something it will also go into the top and we need to we, if you would like to even change something we can change the price and everything from here and this one is added to the grid all once again then just uh, this is one the second one also we can edit okay then we need to go to save this uh, quotation also the quotation number auto generation once uh, uh, one or more persons are have already taken this quotation who one is going to save first he will get the the you know the priority of the number then we would like we are going to check the quotation reports in the report in the report quotation report uh, we can say see what we have already entered what quotation we have already entered inquiry and the quotation also finish next we are going to even uh, enter the inquiry report also already coming no that means inquiry report uh, um, uh, 
it will already you know the enquiry balance we can see the balance that means once we are uh, enter the quotation that means in the report enquiry report the enquiry balance it will automatically come to zero if we have entered the quotation that means that enquiry already closed that it will means okay uh, and next we are going to uh, enter the customer PO once we have already prepare a quotation and send to the customers they will generate the PO maybe they will send the PO by all by the you know a document by document wise or maybe if it's a small company they will uh, send by the orally uh, we are send some uh, material all the if uh, orally they will sell or send you know we can make a customer PO by the you know this is this one is the system making PO automatically system making the PO or they will send uh, by uh, document wise the LPO they will send by email or such um, or by fax something they will send uh, we can make by the uh, you know we can make a customer PO by just selecting the quotation number uh, then select then the, all the details will uh, you know imported to the our grid and the customer uh, this is the uh, you know customer PO means system generated PO uh, the, uh, they have already created some PO their PO number is also there none that is we can even enter here in the customer PO field what are the what is the number of their PO number we can and we can uh, enter here the customer PO means the automatically generated number here is there now this is the system PO and the additional data is also even enter then we are going to save this PO also on automatically um, the system PO number is generating we are going to check whether PO is stored means stored or not it's also there now customer PO where customer PO is entered then the quotation automatically its balance is going to zero the quotation if you are going to uh, check the quotation then uh, it's already the quotation report see the balance also did come to zero that means inquiry made then through the inquiry we are made uh, quotation through the quotation we made we got an LPO and also we had made the LPO in our system now we are going to make the delivery orders DUs Deli by according to the you know this uh, purchase number just select the purchase number and uh, find then already it is imported from the here we can see two depart to locate uh, additionally we need to edit this, uh, this one because now you can see some departments then sorry not departments some locations that is uh, defaultly it is coming <laughs> some location but we don't know whether the this uh, materials are there available in that department or not that means we need to edit we need to check that means automatically coming the id and if it is coming to the id then it will shows the we are going to the location it will shows this material is available in the department or not that means the number it will automatically coming that means we need to select that uh, location see in that location second id also editing uh, this uh, uh, material is uh, how much is stock in various location it is also uh, it, it will come in there now 
then adding to the grid then we are going to is anything additionally is anything changes are there we can make the changes and make it save without the po also we can uh, um, what make the delivery Be without uh, um, the enquiry also we can make the quotation without quotation also we can make the pos without the pos also we can make a delivery orders that is uh, up to you up to you only uh, that is uh, if any po is there we can select no p uh, uh, no po is there no you don't need to even select the po manually we can enter then that uh, delivery is already posted we need to check the delivery um, what do you customer lpo report see the customer lpo report balance is all you know we can see it is zero delivery report is also there now we can see the total and everything and uh, see if once delivered and uh, we need to check whether one material is uh, gone or coming into that way we can see in the in out ledger we need to go to the net ledger and select one uh, product select see this uh, how many materials are out that mean by in outlet sir uh, by using this uh, you know the do delivery we can see the uh, out materials you can see how many materials are gone out and once we will purchase some materials here also the material is in we can see it is already in and also by the by my using this uh, um, product master if any opening balance is there we can enter there no it is also coming opening balance so opening uh, you know the opening quantity in the opening balance means the product master also it is coming if any stock is there once we are going once we during this creation of time opening balance is there we can enter in the purchase master no product master then also it will coming here in out ledger in the in out ledger once we are going to check in the in out ledger we can see from which day to which date the transaction is coming we can also select there in the in out ledger report and also we can see we can uh, uh, check uh, uh, the product wise also we can check or if you are going to make it is a blank product id is making blank then the all product will coming is uh, spe uh, specified a product we will enter there that is specified a product in out ledger only coming okay this is the report for the in out ledger and we need to check in the um in the stock reports there in the stock that means uh, uh, until this date what is the stock clicking list which how many products are there in our uh, store then each product how many stocks are there it will coming then uh, what is the cost for each product is also 
కానీ దిస్ ఈస్ ద స్టాక్ రిపోర్ట్ అంటిల్ దిస్ డేట్ ఇట్ విల్ కమింగ్ అండ్ హెన్స్ సి ఆల్సో ఫర్ లైక్ ఇన్ అవుట్ లెట్స్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ సెలెక్టింగ్ వన్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఐడి దెన్ ద స్పెసిఫైడ్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఓన్లీ వీ కెన్ సి ఆర్ ఇట్ విల్ మేక్ ఇట్ బ్లాంక్ ఆల్ ద ప్రోడక్ట్ ఇట్ విల్ కమింగ్ ఆల్ ద ప్రోడక్ట్ వీ కెన్ సి ద స్టాక్ నెక్స్ట్ వన్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ఎంటర్ ఇన్ టు ద క్రెడిట్ ఇన్ వాయిస్ వన్స్ వీ డెలివర్డ్ దెన్ వీ వుడ్ లైక్ టు మేక్ ద క్రెడిట్ ఇన్ వాయిస్ by selecting the do see we can see everything we can it's already everything is automatically generating and already uh, the we have already mentioned the the cgst sgst uh, other uh, vat and special um, tax is the this already already specified there in the product master how many percentage is there automatically it is coming by selecting the invoice and we can change all of here all the here from here also we can change how many what is a um, vat and cgst we can edit this one and we can select the cost center there na cost center that means this invoice automatically going to this cost center see invoice report you can see the invoice or report the from the status select on this one from the next episode we can discuss uh, much more modules hence please s- subscribe our channel also thank you